Hey guy, the theme man, you can call me King, and week three is here. Um, this week we're fighting a very cool opponent, I would say. Um, <laughs> I say that because they're just very nice. <laughs> um, yeah, their team is very scary, and another thing I should also say is I'm recording this one after the match, so I do know the team, but I'm, I'm gonna try, <laughs> try not to spoil anything because you guys know me sometimes and I um, <clears throat> spoil stuff. Um, anyways, they have a very scary team, with mainly the big threat, um, being the Latios tier. Um, they do have Latios, sorry, not Latios. Um, y'all can already tell why Latios is a scary threat, but, uh, Latios with free terror pretty much just wipes us. We don't really have a great way to check it, and if a stored power set, which I don't think would come mainly because, um, at least I know, and a bunch of my friends who've been part of the Wi-Fi draft community for a long time usually said that's like a gentle influence well, with no stored power, because, let's be honest, it doesn't make content. <laughs> but also, this is a pretty chill draft, so I could see it coming, but, you know. Um, and no shame if they bring it, because, well, I will probably have shame on them, but no actual shame, like, it, no, jokes aside. Um, <clears throat> anyways, of course we have our lead captain, uh, Mr. Arch Allen here, Leftovers. With Heavy Slam, Draco, Body Press, Thunderbolt, we are just completely, um, attack moves, no setup, nothing needed. Uh, mainly because, uh, oh my god, I'm so sorry, I didn't even go through this full team. But they have Ogapon, Wellspring Terra, Landus, Therian, Cinderace, Metagross, Florges, um, Porygon 2, Isuian Quillfish, Quack, Quack, Quaxley, the second Evolve, whatever that one's called, <laughs> and Pikachu. Um, but yeah, with that being said, if you look at my forward move, I pretty much hit everything super hard with this. And it just gives me a great coverage for like endgame if I need to clean up this, which is kind of my main main win con for the end game. I have some really good early game. Uh, I shouldn't go through it, but yeah, we have some early game stuff. Um, we're just pretty much max HP, super max defense with um, a modest best into special attack. Um, because we are still scared of that Okapon. Okapon while swinging with Terra Water is a fucking threat. And we like grass to specifically all a Ogapon Wellswing because it's probably going to be either, it's probably going to be play rough. Um, but there's a chance that it could be SD stomping one leech, um, IV or simply play rough over the stomping. But I think play rough might be coming more because I have a lot more threats that are weak to fairy, specifically chestnut. Um, but yeah, honestly, that's all I have for this set. It's really much just like an end game mod. I don't see it like putting up a bunch of work like how it does usually, nor have seen it come out a bunch of times. Um, but yeah, and our uh, next check is our main Lottie check, um, and hopefully it will do its job with Hex, Earth Power, Slack Off, and Willow. Um, I mainly, will, um, Earth Power just for stuff like Cinderace and, uh, Metagross, if, or, actually not Metagross, but, uh, sorry, the Quillfish, those are the two big ones, and of course for Willow is, uh, so Willow into a Lottie into a Hex is going to do around 80%, so that's why. Um, and luckily for us, even if it's like, if we somehow let it get to plus 4 spit F and plus 4 um, special attack, we can still eat stored powers because Skeletage is a fucking monster like that. Um, we are just very much max max spit F, heavy duty because they have a bunch of stealth rockers and spikers, so I don't want that to happen and lose my match. And very basic kind of set with the slack off Willow. Um, next set is a backup Ogobon check if they are stopping. Um, but also our main Landers check because land doesn't really do much and i think a um i think a scarf landers that's gonna come because they will love running that and hey i'll always take free chip with rocky helmet um we have bulletproof for stuff like pyro ball um and certain other moves i think specifically for uh lottie because lottie's new set is crazy um but yeah we're actually no grass move here we're poison jab for ogre pond or to fish for poisons on landers which it's crazy that i say that because if you guys have watched my other videos, you guys know I have, like, Alohan Mux and Mux with Poison Jab, Poison Touch, and they have still to do... I know there was a record of 60 Poison Jabs in a while where I didn't get a Poison. I just love to talk about that every time I can bring it up, because holy shit. Anyway, <laughs> Knock Off for obvious reasons, and Super Fang for actually mainly stuff like um, Metagross, because I didn't really like Metagross, but also Fuller just to stop Calm Mind. Um, and then since just to stay healthy. Um, and next is... Big man himself, doing his debut, Snorlax, little lefty set. Um, shout out to my brother, I named him after that, because even though he's not fat, I like to call him fat, so he can be mad at me. 
Anyways, <laughs> we are Earthquake, Heavy Slam, Ice Punch, and a Curse Set. This is actually one of our win cons, and not win cons actually, but main, our main way to break. It's actually, I mean, this checks everything. That's the best way to put it. This can check anything, I feel like. However, I wanted to break, because I am max BDF, max HP, as you can see, with some good amount of defense investment. And one curse up, I basically can just take like four hits from any mod. Meaning I can pretty much trade two mods with this mod. Just crazy to say. Um, and then we are a very basic coverage set to just hit everything like Forges, Lando, um, Cinderace, Metagross, all that pretty much. And yeah, if we ever get like two, three curses up, it, which honestly is a very likely chance because something that's also into mind is that we can't be toxic. So one of the win cons might be to get um, Poison Jabs um, or Bar Barrages on Overquill, which just won't happen. So that's super nice. Um, we have mainly our main breaker for the early game. Uh, and yeah. And then... Extinction, our little Great Tusk here. Um, this time I'm hoping he will finally do work because he's our main win con in the end game. Choice Scarf. This outspeeds everything if there's no speed boost coming into play. And Earthquake, Ice Spin, a Mega Horn, and Iron Head hits every single thing. Um, except that Porygon, which I'm hoping my opponent would think, hey, close combat exists, I die. Um, but you know, I am Mega Horn, specifically Ogre Pond, non terror um, because I could also see a, a defensive Ogre Pond coming, but I don't know. Um, and then yeah, a really basic set, honestly, with the Ice Spinner Earthquake for main coverage, but this is just our main win con to clean up, because one thing I kind of realized is that, hey, Metagross, uh, an offensive Metagross, or Cinderace, endgame, it's really scary, so an Earthquake spam would be nice, but also to get my opponent off guard if they're like a, uh, SD Ogre Pond set, I can just get some free kills. And our last mod is Choice Specs for Mina. We're doing it again because the only check is Ogre Pond to this. Yep, that's the only mod that can take it. And Porygon, which if it isn't Spadef, takes 50%. Um, and I'm really fine to just kind of spam Moonblast into it and just waste all its recovers. Um, which we are, of course, Max HP, Max Retro Attack, Torrent Boosted, um, Surf, Moonblast, Shadow Ball, Flip Turn. Pretty basic set. Um, Shadow Ball is mainly for... Um, that meta goes, but it also for certain Terra sets for Lottie, which might come, I don't know, we'll see. And, uh, yeah, I mean, there's not much to say. Choice Specs just kind of gets kills, and although I don't really like running back-to-back -back same sets, this is just a set that's really good, especially into this matchup, so I'm running it. Um, it looks good if that Pikachu comes, because I know they, uh, they like to run that Pikachu, but we'll see. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's my six, or my, yeah, my six for this week. I mean, what you guys think about it, and, uh, let's get into the match. Okay, we're searching. <laughs> I just gotta save with the match sites. They are a joy to talk to, so shout outs to them. Um, we know to go Slotty, and of course, uh, Ogre Pond does come. Good luck. Um, and yeah, we're looking fun. They're writing it down, so I don't have to worry about that this week, which is very nice. This is the exact six I thought would come. I am not surprised at all. That's good for me, but also bad for me. If that makes sense. Um. Okay. Um. One thing I need to know, but I know this player plays super quickly, which is something I need to take into consideration. So me actually taking advantage of that's gonna be very nice. Um. First thing first I see is that I don't really see a super great check. Okay, you know, he does have, it has Tail Ghost, so I can't super fang. Actually, so that is a good, good plan in the end. Um, I kind of want to lead this. Ogre Pond sucks, but also I want to lead this, which means either way this sucks. Um, Pikachu is annoying, but I do have Gajir, so I think I am just simply going to lead this and see if I can get a very powerful hit off. Um, they could, like, lead Landers or something. Um, yeah. I don't think I care, so. Let's hope we, uh, do well. Um, and this will also tell us if the Trace and or Analytic... Oh, sorry, um, Download Boy got. Look, have fun to my opponent. They are very nice and cool, as so I <laughs> I can just say that, because I'm not gonna lie, when I usually do my matches, I just, like... It's very, uh, you know, I guess robotic is the best way to put it. Just, like, get the match done. So. And we do lead correctly. I thought that they would lead this because they led this last time, which means they might be Scarf. Um, 
Now Ogapon can very much come in, and because of this, I think I'm just going to put Moonblast. Um, Landos does indeed get, um, Grass Knot, which could hurt. Uh, I do want to check how much that would do to me. If I was doing nothing. I mean, I always kill. Uh, Grass Knot's doing nothing. Okay, we'll click in this Moonblast. Um, as you do U-turn, okay, you are absolutely seeming to scream Scarf, so... It might be the same set as last week, which would be very nice for me. Um, very, very nice. And yeah, you don't have a Moonblast Switch in. Your Moonblast Switch in is Cinderace, which does not, <laughs> it does not count. Um, we could see how much Boygon might take. Um, again. and you already download, and you, uh, okay. Yeah, that does so much. That's so much. Okay, awesome. I do want to check how much Oregon 2 will be actually taken from this. So, from a Moon Blast, that looks to be max HP, but actually maybe not a lot of Spadef. Um, I could just go for it again. Um, I could just go into this. Uh, one thing, the kid, this, this is a city duck. Is something to keep into consideration. I kind of, I might want to go into this and just kind of threaten this. Like, I, I don't have a fighting move, of course, but I don't, I mean, I don't know. I can also just spam Moonblast. I think I might spam Moonblast and see what they go for. Yeah, they'll cover it and they'll cook faster, yeah. That's fine with me. Um, I don't mind wasting the recovers. Yeah, we're doing like Team Chunk. Okay, so if that's what they're going to do, maybe best bet is to just go into this and then the check is most likely going to be... I think it has to be like Mr. Hulk, Hulk over here. So I think I'm gonna go into this and do a very aggressive, um, you know what? Um, Ice Spinner. So, like I said, I know this player plays fast, so that's why I think Mr. Hulk Hogan might be the play, but I don't know. Because you can take a, uh, you can take a close combat. And I did think Thunderbolt would come out that and or Ice Beam at the April deck, so that's really nice. Um, you are, you are very hurt. I'm going for the Ice Spinner, so. Uh, we'll be thinking kind of quick here. Also, I just realized that 51% here. Yeah, that looks to, with the, with the calcs, it's kind of saying that it's kind of spadef, but not a lot. Or maybe just careful, no spadef at all. So, that's good to know. Very good to know. So, if they recover, they might have actually stayed in on this, because if, if that, if my calcs are correct, that means they do live one, uh, close combat, but not this one. I also feel like you should be threatened by knockoff, because if I knock off this, this, this mod is bad. It's just, it's, it's just a throwaway. So, as you do stay in. That is interesting. You're going for, like, conversion or something? Go for the ice beam. Okay, that's gonna do a lot. Um, as you get a critical hit. Okay. Well, that sucks, because I do take two of those, but that's okay. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm super surprised that you just stayed in. If I earthquake you were dead, and same with, I mean, if I close combat it, you know? Um, so your Ice Beam, Thunderbolt, the cover. It kind of sucks. It really sucks. Maybe I can just go into this and just start being really annoying. I guess I'll do that right now. That really sucks. Um, that's okay though. This mod is a nuisance, so if I can make it recover and get another recover out, that's fine. I am really shocked that they stayed in though. If I just if I clicked a fighting move, they were dead. And they if they lose this, Primalita the wins the game. So we're going to Snorlax. If they do recover, I'm not surprised. Um, but this is a free curse. Uh, you're not really gonna do anything to me. Are you doing like 11%? I am going to go for the curse here. If you stay in and you just keep wanting to do whatever, uh, please go ahead. <laughs> I'm completely fine with this. And the try attack class, they do nothing. So they're going for like the- Ah, uh, <laughs> no! The one way they could burn and they get it. Ah, uh, okay. I was really, really hoping for para. There was also actually a low chance they don't get a status there because I'm immunity. So the chances of getting a status there is super low. But hey, that's, that's, that's luck. That's Pokemon for you. Um, I am plus one now. Um, that, yet again, does nothing. So. And we know this entire set now, but that, that sucks. That is really bad. 
that sucks, man. Fuck. Okay. Yeah, no, the crit into the burn, it's crazy to say, but could honestly almost already end this game. I just lost my check. This mon is now a sitting duck in front of my opponent, which sucks. Um, I have to go for a curse again. Are they going to probably swap out? Yeah. That really sucks the burn. If it was para, I'm fine. And if I get, like, para hacks, I'm fine with that. Burn just really sucks as well. Okay, yeah, so he's going to make me... Plus one boon, I'm probably doing nothing to Landorus. That's your choice card. Oh, my. Do you have Ice Punch? Um, no train, I'm doing 51 to 60%. Um, I think I might just go for that, even booned. And I'm also plus two defense. That's another thing to keep into thought. Um, I think I might just go for Big Chip here. Yeah. I think that might be my play. They might just U-turn, and if so, uh, a little, a little aggressive, because if I do just curse up, you might actually lose the game. Um, but hey, you know, if they do just earthquake, and they're gonna do like nothing. Okay, they do a decent chunk. That actually is a lot. That's just a lot. Earthquake doing that much? You're banded. Hey? You just like. Yeah, you do like 20. Okay, maybe not. You might just be max attack. Okay. Um. I am going to Ice Punch again and see if they let this go down. They do. Okay. I am fine with trading my Snorlax for this. I am very much fine with this. So that is dead. That is amazing. Um. That is really nice. For okay. I don't know what comes in. I have revealed the Ice Punch, so maybe I. Kind of not convinced Lai to come out, but you know. We still have a decent amount of HP, not really. 98 HP, I could actually see how much exactly that is. It is 37%, so. I need to check if Lottie comes in and tries to do some combine. I don't live in Aura Sphere. I lied, I live in Aura Sphere. <laughs> the Terra Ghost. I'm not doing like anything. Actually, I'm doing nothing. I can only do 20%, so I need to swap the fuck out if this happens. Okay. It's another. Um, if there's a stored power set, and if you're watching this and you have a stored power set, shame on you. If you run stored power, especially on Wi Fi, you have no dignity. <laughs> As someone who has done 50 plus draft leagues on Showdown, if you run stored power, it'd be boring. I'll be upset with you. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, not hack mons, but yeah, true, man. Um, I don't know what it gets. It gets, like, static. I don't know what the fuck you get. You get static and lightning mad. Okay, we'll run lightning. You might just bolt switch out. Um, but you don't kill me if you do that. We also could just thunderbolt. I'm not taking any chances. You're probably just gonna Volt Switch. Thinking this kills, although it might not. Oh wait, I just realized that. <laughs> I might live this. Yeah, I live this. Okay. I was gonna say that this Calc says something that's quite different. Oh my god, let's go Snorlax. Okay, wow, my Curse Snorlax, even with the boon, is amazing right now. Okay. Okay. So... He... Okay. Mr. Pikachu's dead, which is very nice. Don't gotta think about that, any of that, which is nice. Um, we know the Porygon's entire set, and we kind of know its stats. Um, Dry Attack, Ice Beam, Thunderbolt is just pure coverage, makes sense. Mm -hmm. A little tough here, they might just go straight into you. <laughs> the, the funny. Okay. What comes up, Mr. Bonko? Mr. Bonk Mitch Minunk Minunk Minamox. What did I just say? Okay. So this is coming out. I, I honestly think this might just look rusty. Knowing that I'm Earthquake and um Ice Punch, they they could they could very much see, hey, I can't really touch you well. Um let alone this mod doesn't get get good coverage. I think I get like dunk shot. So I might just go straight into my 
And even if you go for a very, very wellspring, very aggressive SD, I should live one. Yeah, I do live one. So I'm going to do that. I just simply, it's not like I'm trying to do um, diff anything, I just simply don't want to be set up fodder, you know? Um, so that's the main reason why. I mean, I guess I am plus two. No, I still die. Um, so yeah. They might just go for the Ivy Cudger kill. No, they do go for the SD. Yep. Good. So I'm glad I made this one. Um, and Poison Jab in Knock Off Super Fang. I kind of just want to go for the Super Fang here. Because if they tear water, which I think they might. They might not, honestly. I don't know. They might not. I think I'm actually going to go for the Poison Jab here. Go for the play with. Player should never kill, even if it's max max adamant, yeah. Highest damage is um 95%. They do go for it. I live, so they get Rocky Helmet damage, and they don't tear, so this is like 60% ship rate here. Pop. Very nice, very nice one. And I get the poison. Yeah! Fuck yeah! <laughs> Let's go! My muck who does 18 poison jabs doesn't get poisons, but uh my fucking goat over here does. <laughs> I'm sorry. You guys might know I'm really something about that stuff. Okay. Um I think now I'm going to sack Mr. Snorlax, Nathaniel. Yes, I did name him after my brother. Because fuck you, Nathaniel. I know you watch my matches. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay. Um Okay. <laughs> um. Yeah, I think I just sacked this. Goodbye, Nathaniel. Um, you have done your job. He has done more than his job. Um, as you can tell, Mr. Snorlax is not actually here to check anything. He was purely here to just get kills. So, um, I could have technically just took the Rocky Helmet damage, but if I like, for instance, if Miss, what is this, Linux? If this Poison comes out or something like that, I can actually heal up my chestnut and be a big news into this, this Poison Jab, so. Um, do I reveal my... Do I reveal this? Um, I want to save my Terra still. I don't want to Terra yet, mainly because that Cinder still exists. Um. I'm supposed to be AV. No, I'm not. I'm a liar. Um, I think I just go into this and kind of reveal. Yeah, I guess I'm just going to reveal this. Sadly. I don't really want to, but I kind of have to. Um, my safest bet is to click Earthquake. However, clicking Earthquake would let them know. So I'm actually going to click Ice Bunny here. Just making sure nothing came out. Yeah. And Ogapon dies. Awesome. You also know I'm Scarf now, but now that that's dead is so nice. That is so nice. This is really good for us. Um, Latias is the real last big threat. Um, Cinderace is kind of scary, but gets hard walled by Skeletage forever. So I'm gonna hope they go into Skeletage. I mean, sorry, Cinderace. Fuck me. God damn it. <laughs> they know I'm Scarf, and they're gonna go for the Tail Ghost. Okay. Latias. Oh, sorry, Latias. Latias. <laughs> yeah, my opponent just said fuck my brother, so you know what, let's go. Now now I don't care if I lose. Um I spin it to ghost. Doing twenty percent. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Um I'm not doing a lot in general. Um to a ghost. I do have Shadow Ball for that reason. They're gonna try to calm mind up. Um, I think they just go hard into this. I think I have to. I really. They might just go for the kill or something. I don't know. They're gonna tail ghost here. Um, they're like, I need to check like Thunderbolt. This might have been a big misplay on my end. I don't know, but even with the tail, I think it might be okay. Okay, wait a minute. We might have- we might live too. We can not. We can't. 
Okay, they calm mind up, so the plus one. Awesome. Yeah, so we can just go for the Shadow Ball here and do 50 damage. 50? 50%. 50 um, we're gonna go for that. Um, I actually would kind of like them just to Calm Mind again. If they do that, they're looking into a really bad position for them. So let's hope they do that. I say that because I, I can actually live one. Yeah, yes! Because I, sh I, I have a really good chance to live plus two if they have no uh, um, special attack investment. Now let's have a cover. Let's have a cover. Uh, good play, I guess. And we get the deck drop. Ooh, we take those. And they are left. Okay. Oh my god, the weakness ball. No. Are they really what I think they are? No way. If, if they're stored power, I have so much shame on you. I have so much shame on you if you're stored power. Okay. Can I win this though? If this if this stored power, I lose. If not, I think I can win. Uh, we have to click. Uh, I definitely don't live this now. So they did the correct play. Oh no. I think that might be game. No. I thought they I thought a stored power set might come, but I'm just like, surely not. Not in not in Wi-Fi. But hey, if, if you want to get the win, I get it. You know? Um So how much is like Shadow Ball doing? Forty percent. Wait a minute. I think I might actually be able to get out of this. Maybe. Maybe. It says I should take two Shadow Balls. And it says that Hex should kill. So. I also get a crit here. The stored power, maybe 41 to 49 percent, yep. That did so much luck. But that's okay, because they're not agility. Yeah, they're not agility, so Great Tusk can always have speed. You just keep clicking hex. If this dies, I think we win the game. No, wait, no, 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 we don't, because since my my skeleton is gonna die. Ooh. They have a cover. Oh. Oh. Okay, wow. I really did not think a set like this would come. I'm gonna be fully honest, did not think so. Um, yeah, no, I think they got me then in that case. Damn. Oof. Ah, uh, I guess. Okay. So next time, I, I guess next time I'll 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 take in consideration good power. I've just been oh I've always been told out of all my draft play, uh, battles and all my players would tell me hey stored power doesn't come on Wi-Fi because you guys are trying to make content. It's true. Um. I mean, one twenty. One twenty. It's one okay. I guess I just do this. I don't know. Um, I guess I go for the Will O' Wisp. Boon, I could do 68 to 81%. I don't know. <sighs> uh, we go for the Will O' here and just hope for no crit. Or hope for a crit on our end. Especially after that critical hit ice beam. I really hope I can get just- Actually, give me justice for that critical hit ice beam. Do it. 114. Yep, I'm still good. Okay, and we hit the Willow, which means this will do 68 to 81 percent. This should be enough to get my Great Tusk into range. Fine, okay. So, let's hope. We should have this. Very nice. Very nice. Um, do live, but that's fine. Um, question is, do I think... Ooh, do I think they go for the recover here? I can't risk it. I can't risk it. Right? Yeah, I can't risk it. I have to go for the Hex here. If this dies, we, I think we might actually have a chance. I'm surprised I actually got out of this. I was really close to being Terra Dark. So. Okay, they do just go for that, which is very nice. 
This is dead, right? They die here? Fuck yeah. Okay. Oof. So Cinderace and Porygon is what is left. Um. Yeah, so these two are the last. I think what I might do... Um... If I go into this, worst case scenario, I mean, Cinder is coming up. This can't really even... But it can't... It can't touch Linux. So he has to send in Cinder, right? Like, he has to. But she, sorry. Um... I think you have to. It's really tough, because if, if it's Cinderace, then I... I'm gonna go into this. And we just gotta hope it's not high jump kick. Yep, it is. I really wish I stick to my gut. Whatever. Um, Cinderace. So, like, high jump kick into... Uh, you might not even have it. This might possibly it just be me. Actually, you can't kill me. That's very nice. That's very, 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 very nice. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, do I want all this chip? Uh, I think I just sack Mr. Reinhardt here, and whatever happens, happens. So, let's see if the high jump kick. If the high jump kick, you know. If not, we're good to go. And they're just pyro ball, and they miss? Oh no, we're bulletproof, duh. I was like, wait a minute, what? <laughs> uh, we're gonna try to fence here. We'll try to, they might have another move though. They have U-turn. Do we live? I don't think we live this. Oh, we live! Let's go! I love Chestnut so fucking much! Yo, okay. Any of my people behind the scenes know how much I've been fucking gassing up this mod. Every single week, I'm like, dude, I love Chestnut. This is why I love him. Let's fucking go. Okay, that's amazing. Uh-oh, I gave him a special attack boost. That's not amazing. Okay. So we know your Ice Beam, Thunderbolt, and Tri Attack. Um, we are now a healthy, healthy buh. Um... Plus one special attack. I'm getting told that Ice Beam will whip my asshole, so... I think I have to take this, sadly. I don't even know how well I try to take this. Holy fuck, I don't take this at all. I don't take this at all. 51? Wait a minute. Did I just get played? I'm gonna knock off here. Let's see if I'm fast. I am fast, so I'm gonna knock off, which is nice. No more Eevee Light for you. The Ice Beam. I can't stop anything because the plus one actually made it too strong. Um, as now, I think I go into Arch Alanon and no Eevee Light. They'll fucking tank this like a champ. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> Holy fuck. Uh, no, yeah. I had to go into this. Um, Ice Beam will give me to be fairy body, but no, that's all that matters. Um, I have to body press. Don't encounter Patera. Oh, nice damage. They go for the ice beam. Big chip. And I get my plus one. And now you can have out things. Awesome. Fuck yeah. Could have been AV actually. I don't know if I was supposed to be AV. I can't remember now this week. <laughs> I feel I feel like so faint and like, hey, I was supposed to be AV, but I'm lucky. So I, I was going back and forth with the But yeah. My challenge gets another kill. Very nice. And Pyroball should not kill me. And it doesn't matter, because I can always just simply, um... Have Scythe Great Tusk. Unless there's Scythe. If so, good play. Great play. Um, I am plus one, though. Yeah, you can never kill me. Um... Plus one... Body plus one, you are. Um, and my damage says Draco should always kill, so we go for the Draco here. And if I miss, I'm gonna fucking cry after that crit. Because that crit does matter now, because if that... If I miss here. Because then, um... I wouldn't die to Pyro Ball. I could just switch in Great Tusk here every single time. We'll see, we'll see. 
the fastest fireball does absolutely nothing. We're now plus two. It seems like that the, the, that's the only move, so. And we hit our Drake. That game? Oh, no, they live. Okay, but we got the big ship. That's all that matters. Um, this should be game. And, uh, yeah, that's GG game. Sorry if I go silent, but I'm just texting the person. <laughs> I gotta say, I do love this, like, chatting back and forth. <laughs> oh! I got food. And, uh, yeah, GG's. We win two- oh, very nice. Thank god, uh, I do gotta say, I think the real MVP this match was Snorlax. Snorlax put in a shit ton of work. Um, killing that land was his big. Because it, it kind of made me where I didn't have to tear our child on there, which as you saw, Cinderace was kind of a threat, so I just sent, uh, Skeletor for them, so. Um. But yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm surprised I got past that stored power set. That's the second week now where someone has just ran the Calm Mind spam into attacking moves and heals spam. Um, and just not hope for it. By the way, that's crazy! That's three weeks now! <laughs> three weeks! And I don't get any crits for those rewards within this recover spam. Whatever. <laughs> it's, 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 it's a small little factor, but damn! Gonna get punished a little bit? <laughs> um, but yeah, GG's. Um, if you're watching this, you're amazing to talk to and you're amazing to battle, so... I appreciate all the support and all love and the, the, the texts and... Also, good luck if you were watching this for later weeks. But, um, yeah, that was a very fun match. And yet again, another very close match. If that was, like, um, Bandit or Scarf or something. Or even if it just had a high jump kick and it wasn't Scarf at all. It was a good chance I kind of lose there. Um, so yeah. Gilladish did come in massive clutch there. Um, and I'm really glad Stonelock's debut actually did a lot. Even being burned and getting them lucky there. But hey, a Pokemon sometimes. But, uh, yeah, let's go. We're, we're coming, getting a little comeback after last week, so now we're plus three diff, I believe. So, yeah, GG's, and I'll see you guys next week. Later.